I'm gonna walk through how to check your backlink data inside of Google Analytics 4 and also inside of Google Search Console. So we're gonna start by logging into our Search Console account. It's important to make sure you have the right domain selected in the top left here. Uh, once you do that, we're going to scroll down until we get to links. And this is gonna give us a lot of data regarding our backlinks to the website. So we'll see our top pages that are getting the most backlinks. We'll see internal links next to that. So which pages we're linking to internally the most often. And here is where you could see the domains that are linking to you under top linking sites. Now there is anchor text here as well. So we could see the text that people are using the most often in those backlinks. Um, so I'm going to click into top linking sites, and this is going to start to give me some more detail. You'll see two metrics here. So you'll see linking pages. What this is, this is the number of pages on this domain that link to your website. So SEM rush links to my website on 11 uh, different pages. Now they only link to one target page, which means there's one specific URL on my website that they're linking to. If we go to data box, they are linking to me from six different pages on their website. And there's actually three different pages on my website that they're linking to. So if I click into these, we can get a little more granular. So now we can see the exact three pieces of content on my website that Databox is linking to. And then if I click again and go one layer deeper, now I can see the specific pages on the Databox website that it is linking to my site. So you could really continue to click into the, the tables here to get more granular on exactly where you're getting the backlinks and what pages they're linking to. So this will uh, give you pretty much all you need in terms of your own website backlink data. Now, the reason you would use a third party tool like Ahrefs or SEMrush is typically when you wanna look at competitors or websites that you don't have Google Search Console for, you could then see their backlinks using those third party tools. They're also great for doing it for your own website, but if you don't have the budget or you're not using those tools, you could at least see your own data inside of your Search Console account. Now, the reason to use Google Analytics 4 to check backlinks is mostly so you could see traffic data and which of these backlink uh, websites or referring domains are sending you traffic. So the way you would do that inside of GA4 is going to the report section what I like to do typically is pair the data from Search Console with GA4 and kind of use both of them to get a complete picture of where are we getting backlinks from and which of those potentially are the most powerful because they're actually also sending traffic. So in the reports, there's two areas typically I like to go to. If you have business objective reporting, it would be under generate leads and then traffic acquisition. Under life cycle, typically you're going to go to acquisition and then traffic acquisition. Now this is going to show you um, all the channels that are driving traffic to your website. And if you want to make a report that specifically looks at backlinks, all you need to do is change the dropdown menu to source medium. And that's going to give you the more granular detail. And then the quickest way I find is just typing in the word referral here in the search bar and pressing enter. Once you do that, now you'll have a report of all the referral websites and then how much traffic, uh, engagement and conversions they are sending. Sometimes you'll notice things like this, like I have some cleaning up to do here where YouTube should not be showing up as referral. Typically that should be showing up as social or video. Uh, LinkedIn, same thing, that should be showing up as social. Same thing with Facebook. So this report can also give you some insight on how you should be cleaning up your data. Like I should be looking at my UTM tracking links or other factors. But for the purpose of this, we just wanna see which websites and which backlinks are sending us traffic. So here I could see the, the directory clutch has sent me five users. Uh, designrush.com has sent two. Visualobjects.com has sent two. So you can start to see the different third-party websites that are sending you traffic. Now, what I like to do is make sure there's a referral report like this um, that's already set up. So the way you would build this report and uh, is actually using this customized tool. So we'll build a referral report uh, I tend to actually like to do it from the tra traffic acquisition report. So if you click customize, you can edit any of these default reports. And we don't need to override this one. We could actually save it as a new report. So what you want to do here is instead of having to do all those filters and adjustments, you can set up the report so every time you go to it, it already has your referral traffic shown the way you want to see it. So we're going to click on dimensions. And then we're going to change the default to source medium. So just like this, and then apply that. Once that is done, what we will do is we will 
go and manipulate some of the metrics and the filters. So I'm going to first add a filter similar to uh, what we did earlier. And we're going to do session. Uh, let's do session source. We'll do medium. And then we're going to do contains referral. And this will show us only the source mediums that have referral in them. And you could do just medium contains referral, or you could do both the way I did it. Um, so now we have our report pretty much ready to go. The final step that I like to do is configure the metrics. So this is the default order of metrics. But if you click here, we could change the order. You'll see, depending on the size of your uh, monitor, you're only going to see a few metrics at a time. So what you might want to see is conversions. I'm actually going to add a new metric. I'm going to add conversion rate because I want to see which uh, third party websites are sending me conversions and what, which ones have the best rate. I might move engagement rate up next to conversion rate. And you could really configure these however you want, but let's do this. And now we'll start to see, I can see the traffic that's being sent. Then I could see the conversions being sent. And then I could see how engaged the traffic is from each website. If I scroll to the right, I can see the rest of the metrics, but I really like to make sure the main KPIs and metrics I want to see are visible without having to change anything. So now that this is done and this is set up the way I want it to be, I'm going to click save and then save as new report. And this is where you can name the report. We might call it referral traffic. Uh, you can call it backlinks, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to save that. You could also add a description, but it's not necessarily necessary. So we're saving that. Now we have a referral report that is pre-built. And the final step is to go into uh, the reporting section. So let's actually go back here. And what we're going to do is actually edit our reporting library here and make sure our backlink report is easily accessible. So here it is, referral traffic backlinks. I'm going to edit my lifecycle uh, collection here. And all we need to do is find the report and then we could drop it in there. So let's type in referral. Here it is. And you could put this report wherever you want it. I'm going to put it right here inside of the acquisition overview, and then we'll save that. I'm going to save changes to current collection. That way the report gets published and it goes live right away. Now, when I go under acquisition, I'm going to see that new referral traffic backlinks report. And the big advantage of this is you don't want to be spending time creating these filters and changing this all the time. If it's not, if it's a report, you're going to want to access more than once. I recommend to make a custom report, save it and add it to your reporting library there. Um, and now here it is. We have our backlink report. So the other thing I didn't show is you could also make a filter at the top here. I find that using this drop down and then using the search bar can be fast, but you could also have a little more control with the filter bar. So this would be a similar method. I would type in source medium and then contains and then referral. So very similar to what we did before. It's just another way of doing it. And now when we save that, that's going to apply the filter to that traffic acquisition. And what I'd want to do is actually change that to source medium. And you can see we have that same referral filter. So that's really it. Um, again, the reason we like to use Search Console is Search Console will give you more of a complete picture of your backlinks. And then Google Analytics will show you which ones of those backlinks and referring domains are actually driving traffic to your website. So if you just want to see all the websites that are linking to you, you'd want to start with Google Search Console. But then if you want to actually see are any of those websites sending me traffic or sending me conversions, using GA4 is the better way to do that. So using both together, you can really get a great picture of your backlink profile and where the impact is coming from.